So here's a project I've been working on for a while and I've actually done a video about this before. At that point in time I had uh, ESP8266 hooked up to an Arduino. The Arduino was handling uh, low level stuff and the ESP8266 was handling internet connectivity. I've since simplified the design a bit and now I've got uh, an ESP8266 sending out SPI to a chain of eight shift registers on these boards here. Uh, these shift registers, there's two of them per board, providing 16 outputs per board, which then go on to uh, switch on and off high voltage transistor arrays here, which then turn on and off the segments on these big B7971 soft drink can size Nixie displays. So that's um, the where the project is at to date and I thought it'd be an interesting example of doing something useful with shift registers. So in an earlier video I showed uh, how to drive a shift register with the Node MCU uh, firmware and that worked quite well uh, and so this is an example of if you scale the idea up a bit in that video we were just driving eight LEDs with a single shift register IC. In this video we have got eight shift register ICs for a total of 64 outputs in order to drive the individual segments on this B7971 display. So each display basically gets uh, 16 of these, uh, of these outputs. The display actually only needs uh, 15 of them. It's a 15 segment display so we actually disregard or uh, we, we write some output to one of the outputs but it's not actually connected to anything. So let's go and take a look at this in action and uh, then we can take a look at the code that makes this work. So here's a simple example of showing the word test. And you can see it writes out the characters in reverse order uh, because it has to push out the rightmost character first, that's furthest along in the shift register chain. Here's another test word, good, and it's shown on the display. Here's a word that's too short to display and so some error checking doesn't allow it to be displayed. And similarly uh, an empty or nil string won't be displayed. This consists of four letters, so it's okay to display. And you'll see that a space has all characters off, so it's represented by a zero, which means all segments off. Showing some numbers. And now let's show some invalid characters. Characters not in the character set. And you can see what happens is an underscore gets substituted for an invalid character. So we're checking for out of range characters and just displaying an underscore to indicate that a, a character couldn't be displayed. An asterisk is fine though because we can generate that character on these 15 segment displays. Here's an example of some valid characters followed by an invalid character. So you can see the underscore gets substituted just for the invalid character. The code has three parts to it. The first bit is a lookup table. This was generated using my B7971 character generator that you can get to on the web address shown. It's just a simple Lua table that maps between a character as we know it and the hexadecimal representation that turns the correct segments on and off for the Nixie display to show that particular character. The second part of the code simply sets up the SPI bus which we use for the clock and data lines going to the shift registers and sets up a GPIO to act as the latch pin, also an output going to the shift registers. The third part of the code is a function that puts out a four letter word to the displays. It first checks that the string is the right length. It then converts the string to uppercase before looping over each character in reverse order, looking up its value from the lookup table 
and writing the low and high byte of the lookup value to the SPI port. The latch pin is then clocked so that the shift registers latch the data. 